Oh my goodness. Now that is, per wow, what an aesthetic, oh God. I'm gonna be too distracted to even film this video. Okay. What's up guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a little bit of a bippity boppity flower DIY because it is almost Valentine's Day. And honestly, I just always wanted to make a, a little flower arch. The celebrities always get them on Valentine's Day. People use them in weddings. And I just thought this would be a fun little DIY. So uh, without further ado, here we go. A little flower arch for ya. Hmm. Here we go. This is not as sexy as it looks on TV. Alrighty. <laughs> Ooh, marshmallow man fashion. So I've just been so casual lately. I like can't be bothered to get dressed anymore, but this is what we're gonna wear to go to the craft store. We got a giant oversized white hoodie. Cute little cherry bag for some poppin', uh, poppin' fashion. <laughs> oh, I need to get out more. The coolest freaking sneakers you've ever seen. Oh my God, I made these actually. But yeah, these are like the coolest things ever. Spicy, spicy, we love it. It's hard to see it, but we got a nice little vintage Dior necklace there. So anyways, yeah, that's what we're wearing to go crafting. Barum, as I always say, <gasps> onward ho. <laughs> Bye, Angel Pie. Mommy loves you, okay? Bye. Oh, isn't this just so beautiful? I love downtown. Look at this. Literally beautiful, but okay. This is like such an Instagram. Okay, any hoozy. We are going. Yay. Okay. Ugh, iconic. So I want to do red just like Kylie's, so let's see. She is serving looks right now. Goals. All right. So, oh my God, look how beautiful. <laughs> Yay. Hmm, so many choices. Oh, aesthetics. Wow, now that would be a look. Look how big that is. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is such a crazy looking cart. So aesthetically pleasing. I love it. Sorry. God, downtown is just so fun. There's so much stuff. Oh. I just love this store so much. I could honestly live in here, but we're gonna try and focus. I think that's that. Let's go home and craft. Alrighty, ta-da! Here we go. Here are the materials I got for this project. So, first and foremost, obviously, we have <gasps> Tons of bouquets of roses. Oh my God, look at that. Now that's an aesthetic work. Hi, pumpkin. Okay, we also got some foam rods. Um, I'm gonna use these to kind of, you know, poke the flowers into. Some wire, some intense wire cutting chompers. And this, believe it or not, is going to be kind of the base of the arch. I just gotta put it together. Eh, that doesn't look fun, but I'll get to it. And honestly, I think that is all we're going to need. So, let's. Get started. Craft fingers. <laughs> All right, so the first thing is to go ahead and set up the little garden arch. Um, this is a lot easier than it looks actually, but basically you just kind of take the pieces together, use a screwdriver and, you know, screw them uh, into each other. <laughs> so it eventually ends up looking like this. Okay, so there you go. You can see I set it up uh, pretty good there. It didn't take me too long, only about, you know, maybe 20 minutes, so pretty good. Voila. Now we gotta get to the fun stuff. The flowers. They're done. Just kidding. Okay, the real directions. Then I'm gonna go to take the craft wire and the little foam blocks. Um, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take the craft wire and the blocks and I'm kinda gonna rip the blocks in half to make them fit onto the uh, little, I guess you would call these the rails section. I'm just gonna twist them on to the arches um, with the little craft wire. You know, make sure that's super secure. There's no real right or wrong way to do this. Just kinda wrap it around until it is nice and tight. You don't want it to fall, so secure it extra good. You can see I did a couple of them here and a couple of them there. And basically I just wrapped it around until it all good and tight and I did it on all the arches and all of the bars until that was completely covered. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the bouquet of roses. And you can see I'm gonna go ahead and actually trim them off with the giant hefty scissors until they're individual flowers with the stems poking out. Um, you wanna get a couple of different lengths of these so it starts to look natural and full. But basically this is really super easy. You just kind of plunk them into the foam by puncturing them in like that and uh, just kind of decorating it as you would. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Literally just poke them in until you know all the white space is filled up. Uh, it's really easy. Eventually it's going to start to look full 
fuller and fuller as time goes on. You can have your dog help you, um, but yeah. Make sure you save all the leaves too because those will come in handy for filling in the spots that uh, end up being blank. So continue doing that until it is all covered. At the base, go ahead and lay some flowers on the ground, put some in a vase next to it so it's all full up. And slowly but surely, it is going to end up being very, very florally. You're also going to make a big mess of your floor, but that's fine, you can vacuum it. So, dun dun dun, dun. we are almost done. And now, time for the reveal. All right, I put on some red to match. Are you all ready? <gasps> da -da 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 -da. Drum roll, please. <gasps> Ta-da! This is the finished flower art. <gasps> Literally, look at how beautiful it is. Oh! You can see we decorated the whole thing with all the roses. It looks beautiful. Underside too, so you know, it's got the double, uh, double layers here. Laid some extra flowers at the base there, put some in the vase to make it, you know, just a little extra fun at the bottom. Oh my God, look at you in there, honey. <gasps> stay, stay muffin. <gasps> Smile, boogeyman. Mwah, très magnifique. By the way, I got distracted and now it's night. <laughs> Oops, but I set up the light so you could see it. Oh my God, <gasps> I love it. Literally such a cute little Project would be great for anything, you know, wedding, birthday party, honestly, just home decor all the time. Why not? Garden, so many fun reasons to do this. So, happy crafting. Put a little bench in there, oh my God. This looks crazy. If you came over to my house right now, you would really wonder what was going on. Oh, you know, nothing to see here. Not weird at all. <laughs> oh God. Being a YouTuber is so fun. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be such a cool little photo shoot thing. Oh my God, I love it. Cha-cha-cha. Oh yeah, baby. How do I not have a Valentine? That's insane. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you can get married in here. I do. Oh my goodness, look Georgie, we're in love. Oh. You're a star. I love Valentine's Day. I love love and flowers and hella love chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you look no! I want to have a photo shoot of you. <laughs> I took so many pictures of him. I was like crying, laughing. He is such a little model, and he hated this so much. But oh, worth it. <laughs> Anyways, overall, you can see, absolutely nailed the project. Fashion. I nailed it, if I do say so, myself. So there you have it, you guys. That is my finished little uh, flower arch. So stinking cute. Bippity boppity. Valentine's Day. <laughs> you guys i hope you enjoyed um the fun little video i certainly whoop, as i stab myself with this flower i certainly had tons of fun filming it for you as always don't forget to like comment subscribe of course if you do the diy please tag me and i'll see you guys on sunday for the next girl's guide happy valentine's day remember whether you have someone to share it with or not remember to celebrate all year round the love that's in the world everywhere you know romantic love aside love is all over the place the world is full of it so remember to feel a little love every day I love you, all my love, and then some. XO. Ooh, that was a very noisy kiss, but whatever. <laughs>